Tonga Vailoa has had the most graded football card sales over the past seven days with a total of 668 Tua slabs sell on eBay in a buy it now format in the past week. <laughs> So, that's a lot of purchases. Guys, so in this video, I wanna share with you what cards I've been buying in a massive mail day here heading into week three. Let's dig in. And of course, I'm gonna share with you guys the card, the price I paid for it, some advanced analysis around how the player is performing and my projections for the card, my plans for it, the whole nine yards. All right, now if you guys are enjoying this style of football card content, make sure you hit that subscribe button that little bell notification icon so you don't miss a single step on the quest of course my name is andy case and if you're new here this is all things football cards fantasy football all day every day let's see what we got here in the first package Ugh. man this thick packing tape on the bubble wrap there a little unnecessary a little excessive I'm trying to get into my card here Gotta be careful because this card does not seem very, uh, I mean, inside the bubble wrap, I'm not sure what it's in. Okay, 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 okay. We're starting to get to it here. All right, top loader. Okay, we do have a top loader team bag. Yeah, baby, let's go. One of the big wins I had. Oh, yeah. From week two, purchases heading into week two. We gotta shout out this seller right here. With the incredible packaging, man, would have been safe to send a small child in that. Uh, buy, sell, trade. Average Joe's sports car. Shout out to Average Joe's here on Buena Park, California, man. Appreciate the excellent packaging and the wonderful card here. Let's go, Jalen Hurts. They're playing the Commanders this week with a shot to go 3-0. The notable stats from Jalen Hurts this year. Everybody's been questioning, can he progress as a passer? Well, they sign A.J. Brown in the offseason. The offensive line is ranked top in the league. And yes, he can progress as a passer because so far through two games, he is the number one quarterback in the NFL in terms of accuracy rating. He also has the number third best deep ball completion percentage with 66.7% of a deep balls completed. Number two best clean pocket completion percentage and also has the highest yards per attempt with 9.1 in the NFL. The man is progressing quite nicely, making a third year leap, very similar to what Josh Allen did. And we know the mobility is similar. Jalen Hurt has incredible mobility with his leg. This card is in such good condition, man. Very tempted to get this one graded as this does have potential to gem. Look at the centering. Look how nice this card is. So bought this heading into week two, September 16th for $50, 59 out the door. I'm already seeing transactions go on this card for 75. Guys, it looks like the PSA 10s are going for over $300. So my plans for this card are immediately to list it for about 125 and uh, see what happens at 125 OBO. Uh, I'll accept offers a little bit over 100. I may consider getting this graded. I wanna examine the surface a little bit better here. Looks like there may be a few tiny, tiny little specs, but you know, according to PSA standards, this, this could get a 10. I think this definitely has a 50% shot of getting a 10. Uh, if not, I think at worst, this looks like it'd be a nine condition. Overall, very happy with this purchase and this card. This is already an instant win for me. I know I could move it right now, make a few dollars, but uh, I definitely want to ride this one out a little bit and uh, see where we go here because they're favored to win against the Commanders. You know, playing the Commanders this weekend, but then they go back home, they get the Jags, then they go to Arizona. Arizona secondary can't stop anybody to get them. Uh, then they're at home against the Cowboys, Steelers, and then the Texans. Man, we could see quite a run here from the Eagles in the next few weeks. I'd love to be a part of it and glad to have gotten this card when I did. I know his cards have come a long way, uh, you know, being able to get an Opticalo like this for probably $25, $30 before the season uh, earlier in the summer. But uh, obviously already profit in this card, and I think it continued to go up more. Next package. 
All right, so this was a purchase from ComC. I know exactly what it is already. Yeah, baby, this was my, my bet hedge I've been talking about that I did uh, from last week. So I bought a lot of Com, uh, from ComC. Three Kirk Cousins Prism, bought these for $15 each. And what what the reason why I bought three of them is A, because they're cheap for a 2012 Prism. When you compare like Russell Wilson going for over 100 and the supply of these cards can disappear quite quickly and just not trying to compare them to Russell Wilson, just saying. You got to compare that type of, of supply and demand. And I really wanted to get these and look at the centering and the condition and potentially look at getting some of these graded because after doing research and finding out that Kirk Cousins only has a PSA 10 uh, base prism rookie card population in the 30s. It was like 33 or 35. Compared to Ryan Tannehill having over 100 and Russell Wilson having over 1,000, like just a massive opportunity when Kirk Cousins is a great leader. He's also got arguably one of the best weapons in the league. Uh, new head coaching, who's young, aggressive. I still am very bullish on the Vikings this year. They just struggled, uh, had a bad week too. So people are going to sour on them a little bit because Kirk Cousins is notoriously bad on Monday Night Football. But we can see here a little bit of, of off-centering, just a touch, man, on this one compared to this one. So, But getting these at $15 just has so much room for growth. I saw transactions heading into Monday Night's game already able to realize a small profit on these. Um, and the intention was to hedge my bets knowing that one of those guys – was going to come out of that Monday night game, you know, uh, two and zero uh, with a full head of steam. And so it's Jalen Hurts, and that's why I got the optic hollow there. But Kirk Cousins is, is is a long ways from being done this season, and there's going to be a lot more opportunities with the, uh, still a, a potential man in the NFC North. In my opinion, is wide open, uh, and and you know Green Bay is kind of bouncing back after that first week. We'll see what they do against Tampa Bay this weekend. The Vikings are are um, the Vikings are playing at home against the Lions, so that's going to be another fireworks shootout game. So this is another game, and and the Lions secondary is exploitable. So we'll see what happens this week, and man, I think we can pick up a uh, lot more opportunities to pick up hype for Kirk Cousins and a big opportunity around just the scarcity in general of a of a first year prism with uh, with how kind of rare those cards are, how quickly the supply can disappear. You know, I literally bought like three of a total of five left in the ComC inventory and they're 15 bucks. Like, are you kidding me? Just so much room there. Plain white envelope package, ba bam man, got me a base. Uh, Tops Chrome though, Travis Kelsey, rookie card here, best tight end in, in the NFL, hands down. You know, uh, you could put Mark Andrews up there based on production, but in terms of Hall of Fame score, you know, fan base, the, the quality of, of offensive play that he's associated with, just, I mean, fantastic. And this, this card is very well centered. Another card I want to potentially look at getting graded. I'm looking at, you know, issue with these cards. You can see that little tiny uh, blemish there where the card connects to the artwork in the middle. And that's the one thing that concerns me about this card getting a, a 10. Uh, overall, though, nice, thick card stock. Topps Chrome is definitely Travis Kelsey's most popular rookie card. And the fact that I bought this with a plain white envelope tells you how much I paid for it. Less than $20. I think it was right at $20 uh, out the door total. Maybe something just less than that. I'll, I'll throw up the transaction. But, yeah, just want to create a cachet of Travis Kelsey rookie cards as there's nobody close to him in my opinion anytime soon of just achieving his level of tight end greatness especially now that Gronk has retired I mean it's Travis Kelsey is the the number one tight end uh, unanimously in in the NFL and I, I want exposure to him as he's still the number one guy in Kansas City and he's going to be racking up quite a few points here over the course of the the rest of the season with the Kansas City Chiefs, who do not look to be phased at all with the loss of Tyree Hill. Patrick Mahomes is still absolutely shredding it. So quick advanced stats on Travis Kelsey, number two in red zone targets amongst tight ends, number one in receiving yards, number two in receptions, number two in touchdowns, 
So this is through two games, but already yards per route run, number two. So it's it's the him and Mark Andrews show. And uh, with the scarcity around Travis Kelsey's 2013 product, I'm going Kelsey in this situation for a $20 rookie guard. I mean, the guy is uh, the guy's also got a podcast with his brother. I mean, he's just... He's so dynamic uh, and interesting, not only on the field with how good he is as a tight end, but also off the field as well. So let's see what, what we got here. I have no clue what this is. This is interesting that they put their uh, receipt inside here with the cards, kind of strange. Don't like the Scott State, man. Scott State Bandits sneaking out here, but uh, oh, as long as it's not on, on that. Yeah, so this was actually a card that I bought before the season even started. The seller just took a while to get it to me. The centering was absolutely perfect. I had to get a Russell Wilson. Wanted to play that revenge game narrative. Didn't quite work out in week one. Nathaniel Hackett has been a total knucklehead since coming to Denver. So I'm still very optimistic about Russell Wilson's outlook. You know, he's gonna be on the Denver Broncos for the next few years. He's already borderline a lock for the Hall of Fame. And, and Look at the centering on this. Now this is this is wild because the centering on this is almost perfect, guys. So I want to get this card graded and and roll the dice here and try and get a 10. That rookie card shield, important things to look at. That looks to be a touch off, just just a millimeter, just a fraction off from from where the etching is at. So that could affect the grade, but in terms of centering and and scarcity, man, I got this card for I think 120 or 110. Had to get me a Russell Wilson rookie card, man. And there's nothing like a first year 2012 Prism. The cards were just made with such a, a different quality. And it's just such a cool card to have. There's a whole, uh, you know, cult following and collection following for first year Prism. And ar arguably, I think almost unanimously, the best, uh, you know, first year Prism from that set is Russell Wilson. So. Happy to have me a piece of that. They are one and one. I really hope that they can, uh, Nathaniel Hackett can get his play calling together. Stop playing slow, Nathaniel Hackett. Bringing that slow mindset from the Packers, man. Stop playing slow. So through two games so far, their pace of play has been number 26. So bottom of the league in pace of play right now. And that's the big issue, man. They've got to get better. The protection rate has been number four. It's been good. Uh, Russell Wilson's efficiency has not been great. No, in terms of deep ball, though, he's still got it. Number 12 in the league, clean pocket, number 14, number 6 in EPA. So give him time. He's Russell Wilson. Let's get some better play calling, better coaching, and, uh, and, and expect him to win some more games. They got the 49ers this weekend at home, then the Raiders, the Colts, the Chargers, Jets, Jags, Challenging schedule, hopefully a lot of shootouts and fireworks, but nevertheless, like the dual camera stream, the recording of my face while I'm opening this stuff got corrupted somehow at the end of it. And so all I've got is the video and audio from the card cam or the phone cam on these cards. So guys, if you didn't catch it, my name is Andy. Welcome to the Football Card Quest. If you're enjoying this video, hit that like button. If you don't want to miss out on anything, you want to learn the best strategies around football card collecting, investing, and all things football card analysis every day, all day, 365, 24-7. Hit that subscribe button, that little bell notification icon so you won't miss out on a single step. That's the kind of card that I'm okay holding on to as well. It's not like he's going to absolutely fall off anytime soon. You know, he's already... Uh, got a lot of respect on and off the field with a big reputation, you know, famous wife, uh, got, got the whole new team thing going on here. I have no clue what this is. This is uh, something else. So I guess I'm guessing this is some purchase that I made. Next package, a lot of bubble mailer. I'm okay with packing tape on the bubble wrap as long as it's not on any top loaders or cards or anything like that i have no clue what all this is i don't i don't typically order lots and stuff like that so it must have been someone included a bunch of comments no dreaded basketball cards what's this Blarky. <laughs> bunch of comments bunch of comments yeah there we go there we go a bunch of common basketball cards Flush them. Nah, I'm joking. I'll give them out to some kids, man. Donate them Salvation Army. 
you know, or, or give them to the kids in the neighborhood, let them play with them, do whatever they want, give them to my kids. Optic Hollow, Justin Jefferson, baby. Bought this for me uh, a little bit in the 30s. This was part of the Kirk Cousins stack. You know, I knew either Jalen Hurts, and I may or may not have an A.J. Brown coming up in, the, in one of these upcoming packages. Optic Hollow had to give me an Optic Hollow of the the top wide receiver coming out of week one, man. Justin Jefferson. Mm. Another beautiful. I mean, these Optic Hollows are just so liquid, so easy to move in and out of the marketplace. But they're also very easy for me to gauge price points and uh, liquidity, like uh, where I want to get in at because of, of how of how many transactions there are and how liquid these cards are so there's a little tiny mark here on the bottom right that's not coming off maybe with some kurtz card care shout out to kurtz card care maybe with some of that i can't get that off but um, just a beautiful card here one of the best wide receivers in the league you know parlaying off of that kurt cousins play you know justin jefferson's got more hype than him because it's his third year and what he's already done in his first two have been pretty much historic you know along the same lines of, of randy moss esque type of career arc so let's go justin jefferson uh beautiful optic hollow here with uh, some really good centering once again man that's one of the important things i look at and then the corners and i look at centering top to bottom and left to right and it's hard the hardest thing to look at when you're when you're looking at ebay to buy cards is the actual surface so you know if you check all those other boxes, then your, your chances of getting a car that could potentially jam or just look great in raw photos to turn around and sell it and to buy it now. Like I sold buy it now, sold transactions of Justin Jefferson after the week one hype going for $75. So uh, uh, whenever I saw the dip and I saw that a, a brand new listing of a guy just trying to cash out for 30, like, yeah, I totally jumped on it, got me one, I think it was like 35. So. Yeah, um, yeah, you know, not uh, not the greatest purchase in terms of like a super buy low snipe, but just a, a, a great player, a super liquid card that definitely has potential to go up uh, from there based on the way I've seen his hype spike. And boom, there we go. There's the AJ Brown and a field level silver from 2019 is such a nice card, man. I've sold these cards for $40. $50. I've gotten them graded. They have a high gym rate. These field level silvers from 2019 were hobby only. Glad that Select brought it back to being hobby only here in 2021. 2020, they got it wrong, but it's okay because those cards are still fairly liquid. They just don't do as good as the Optic Hollows or the Prism Silvers. But in 2019, the field level silver is lit. This is a prime example of a card I see fluctuate. I got this for $20. You see here, plain white envelope, baby. That means that I paid for under $20 for it. And uh, yeah, that's an absolute snipe. That is a total steal of a deal. Great condition here. Great corners, great centering, great edges. Hard to tell the centering on here, but I mean, it's just a great card. Like this is definitely another grading candidate for sure right here. So happy to get this for $20. I It's such a little downside, especially on AJ Brown, who's... <laughs> in his prime man he's in his prime right now uh on the eagles uh, such an exciting year so there you go man you got the double stack there you see the moves i've been making guys the price points the upside the the plans for the a few a few cards i'll look at grading we got um let's see Billy. okay last package here is actually a, a gift for, uh, for my from my man billy from my man billy you guys are becoming to know billy thibodeau up in canada a good dude up there it looks like he said he sent me another gift man guys trying to hook me up <laughs> hey we scratch each other's backs man take care of each other let's see what we got here so nice nice cardboard packaging let's go billy let's go brother yeah baby Leonard Fournette, turn of the century, 12 out of 25 auto. What is this, 2017? Oh, fantastic, man, this is a rookie card too. Man, look at that gorgeous diamond X-Fractor in the background, got the autograph, the Jags logo. Um, man, very cool, love the purple colors, kind of LSU-ish type of colors there at the end. You the man, Billy, appreciate you, bro. Um, 
Dude, thank you so much. Awesome, awesome mail day. Great way to end it too with Lombardi Lanny, man. About to tear up the Green Bay Packers at home this weekend. Expect him to be a big part of the offensive plan of attack. Get your exposure. Hope you guys have a great week. And Steve and I are going to be live Sunday night with our immediate reactions and analysis to the Sunday uh, 1 o'clock and 4 o'clock games. We'll see you there. Peace. For the first time that I can remember, he has surpassed both Justin Herbert and Joe Burrow. And looking at the top 10 with Tua as number one, Justin Herbert at number two with 470, Jalen Hurts with 416, Josh Allen 203, Justin Jefferson, the only skill position player on this top 10 list with 196, Joe Burrow with 184, Trevor Lawrence 100, Patrick Mahomes 99, Lamar Jackson 96, Jimmy Garoppolo 88 with a 633% increase week over week due to that Trey Lance injury. And then the second skill position player is number 11, a notable uh, honorable mention, Saquon Barkley with 83 graded football cards sell in the past week in a buy it now format on eBay.